Hi, today we're going to be looking at doing some uh, basic uh, knockout JS bindings in your HTML5 application. Um, I have my sample application here. This is just a simple quiz. Uh, you can see that it uh, brings in an image of a star and then there will be some buttons that will display names of stars and you'll guess what the name of the star is. Right now everything is hard coded so let's go ahead and bring in the JavaScript files that we need. So you probably have these somewhere on your system if you're working with these technologies, but it's easy to just bring them in uh, via the IDE, and it's going to plop them in those directories right there. And indeed, there they are. Um, let's go ahead and create one more JavaScript file. Call it quiz.js. And this will be the file that we use for all our logic. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and bring those in here. Oops. Okay, so now that we're all set up, we can start uh, declaring our knockout model. I'm going to be using a lot of templates that I've uh, set up here. Um, so let's call this the star game, or let's call it star data model. Okay, so this template basically creates a, a new function called star data model, and then it applies the bindings using a new instance of that. I also like to declare the uh, self variable to avoid any scope confusion. Um, so now let's say, here, let's bring this down here so we can see both of these at the same time. So um, let's say one of the easiest things we want to do is we just want to replace some text with something from the model. So we're going to replace this, this tagline here. So um, let's say, So there we go, we have it uh, declared in our, oops, really, we have it declared in our data model. Um, so let's go in here and get rid of this text. And we can just say data bind and text equals tagline. And as you can see, the IDE knows that um, knows about the properties that you've, the observables that you've declared in your, um, in your data model. So if we save everything, there we go. We see that it's, that it's uh, been updated. And of course, Knockout supports two-way bindings. So if we wanted to, we could do something like this. Now we have this down here, and we can say, uh, no, really, and it will update. If we want to make this update as we type, we can add the we can add this attribute, Let's save again, and we can say, it's Alec Baldwin. Okay. Knockout also has a concept of computed observables, which is uh, an observable that is made up of two other observables, so that if either of them change, then the whole thing changes. Um, so we can make one of those by, let's do another observable called hint, and we'll say, it's Alec Baldwin. All right, and then we can do a computed which will be full tagline, and this will return um, let's give it a little spacing and so that hint. And notice that with uh, knockout observables you have to, to get their value, you have to call them as a function rather than just say self.tagline. Um, let's go ahead and 
update this and let's have this go like that. Okay, and now we can say yes, that changes, hello, that changes, and everything updates just fine. Okay, so now let's take a look at uh, iterating through an array with Knockout. So Knockout has um, observable arrays as well. Um, so let's call this what star list, right? And let's go ahead and say. Okay, so now we have our star list, um, observable array, and let's go up here, and let's get rid of these input things, let's get rid of all these buttons, and create a div, and we're going to bind that to the star list, oops, we're going to use the for each binding to bind to the star list uh, array, and then... For each of those, we're going to have a button, which is going to use for its text the name. Okay, let's save everything, and there we go. Me, you, him, her. Okay, there's the basics of, uh, of bindings, um, or at least binding to uh, data inside the, the model. Stay tuned for some more where we will take a look at grabbing these values from web services, defining click handlers, and all kinds of good stuff.